Studies show that things like loneliness and social isolation can be as potent as things like smoking and, and diabetes. And he's not kidding. The effects of isolation and loneliness are comparable to smoking as many as 15 cigarettes a day, to be specific. Other negative health effects can be chronic health conditions such as heart disease, a weakened immune system, high risk for depression and anxiety, and the worsening of dementia and Alzheimer's. Now, when you factor in that one in five people over the age of 50 live alone in America, that's eight million people, and that thanks to medical advances, the older population has been increasing exponentially, the effects of social isolation are then technically recognized as an epidemic. Studies have shown loneliness can be as damaging to health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Feelings of isolation and loneliness can also increase the risk of depression, high blood pressure, chronic inflammation, and reduced immune response. Social distancing measures, life is far from back to normal. And I think that most of us have really struggled with social distancing. Social isolation is hard on mental health. Research shows that loneliness contributes to depression, anxiety, lack of motivation, and it's just lonely and discouraging. But loneliness is also stressful on the body. Social isolation and loneliness is linked to a bunch of physical and mental conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, and a weakened immune system. It's also connected with cognitive decline and Alzheimer's. A large study by Julianne Holt Lundstad found that a lack of social connection heightens health risks as much as smoking 15 cigarettes a day or having an alcohol addiction. Other studies have shown that loneliness and social isolation are as harmful to physical health as obesity and high blood pressure. Loneliness can cause inflammation in our immune system, which over time increases our risk of chronic diseases. And when people feel lonely, your immune system is weakened in a way that actually makes it harder to fight off viruses. One researcher called loneliness a fertilizer for other diseases. The biology of loneliness can accelerate the buildup of plaque in arteries. It can help cancer cells grow and spread, and it can promote inflammation in the brain, which leads to Alzheimer's disease. But despite the negative effects of loneliness, research has also shown that people are more lonely and isolated than ever. More than three out of five people report being lonely, and loneliness has risen 13% since 2018. And that data is from before the pandemic. Founder of the Kennedy Forum, which focuses on these issues, he's also a leader at the National Action Alliance for Suicide Prevention. Gentlemen, welcome to you both, and thank you for being here. Patrick Kennedy, I want to start with you because you have warned of what you call a coming epidemic of suicide and overdose stemming from this COVID-19 pandemic. What have you seen so far that le leads you to that conclusion? Well, first, we had an underlying epidemic to begin with, uh, record levels of increase in suicide and overdose even before COVID-19 hit. And as you just mentioned, uh, COVID-19 is going to exacerbate exponentially the uh, amount of suicide and overdose. Uh, with this degree of unemployment, it only stands to uh, reason that we're going to see uh, enormous uh, suicide rates. And so our job now is to make sure that what happened to COVID-19, where we knew it was coming, but we didn't really quite do what we needed to do pro to prepare for it, that that doesn't happen again with respect to the um, coming epidemic and, and uh, tsunami of overdose and, and suicide. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. Yeah, research shows that prolonged social isolation and loneliness can have adverse health impacts comparable to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. It's a serious issue that's getting nationwide attention.